guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video what we have is we have a fantastic new update for most Samsung Galaxy smartphones. This new update enhances a powerful built-in feature on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone, so let's dive in and get started right away. Now first and foremost, to grab the latest update, all you want to do is you want to click the link down below. Once you click the link, it's going to take you to my website. Once you're at the website, you want to scroll down just a little bit. Under download, you want to click this link right here. When you click the link, it'll take you to the store from where you are able to update this powerful security feature. You're going to click update at the bottom. So whether you know what secure Wi-Fi is or not, I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to show you exactly what they updated. So once you update, go to your settings. Okay, scroll down to biometrics and security and then scroll down just a little bit to secure Wi-Fi. Now it says right here, get extra privacy protection while using unsecured Wi-Fi networks. Okay, so let's say you're not in the house, you're actually traveling or you went to Starbucks or you went to any coffee shop and you're using an unsecured Wi-Fi connection at the coffee shop or the airport. The problem is you can actually be hacked. But this feature here, protects you. So what you have to do is simply enable it and activate it while you are connected to a Wi-Fi outside of your house or any untrusted Wi-Fi network. So the good news is we have a very special update to this uh, application. So I'm going to tap on continue. All right. Uh, you do want to give location permission. It is your smartphone. So that's not a problem. Uh, just say while using the application. Let me go for precise. And here's the most important update right here under protection plan which is 100 percent free they increased it from 256 megabyte to 1024 megabytes per month so before the update if you went to secure wi-fi this is what you would see you would see you'll get 250 megabytes of free wi-fi protection now you're getting approximately one gigabyte and it's 100 percent free and you can upgrade this i don't recommend you do because i'm going to show you guys Using this selectively is very beneficial. So basically, as soon as you connect to any Wi-Fi, in this case, I'm connected to Saiyan, which is actually my home Wi-Fi. So in this case, I don't have to protect myself. But if I were went to a coffee shop, and let's say I was connected to Starbucks 123 Wi-Fi, all I would have to do is tap on protect. And then I would actually browse the web. And what you want to do is if you're going to log into your bank account or any other high security account on an unsecured Wi-Fi, you want to make sure this is in fact enabled. If not, like I said, you can be hacked. And again, enabling and disabling this is very easy. All you do is tap this button. So protect is going to say protected and then stop is going to say stop. So again, this is my home. So I'm going to tap on stop. I do not need protection at my home Wi-Fi network. I don't need protection at my friend's house or maybe at work. But if I am in the airport, if I'm at a coffee shop, a random coffee shop or anywhere uh, where I'm using a public Wi-Fi, even the hospital, you want to make sure that you enable this and you protect every time you are about to do something important like log in to your bank account to check your balance. Because like I said, you know, somebody can in fact extract information from your phone if you're not protected. So the great part is again, this specific thing with this update, we do have a new look here, but this protection plan itself, they're giving you four times more data to protect you. Now, if you are at an unsecured location and you're just checking maybe your Facebook account or something, that's not a big deal. You don't have to protect that. You specifically want to focus on high security accounts like bank accounts, crypto accounts, or other financial stuff or any other security high security account. But that's it. And also do not enable this. It's better if you do it manually because if you do this, the adaptive protection uh, you might actually uh, just lose track of how much you're spending here. Just do it manually. And like I said, it's great that they gave us four times more data to protect ourselves. Okay, so that's it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?
All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.